One e, three square meals. The three meals are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Square meals means good meals, filling meals. After you eat them, you feel full and happy. One, vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Which of these do you have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Soup. Soup. Not soap. No. Soup. Soap is a different word. This is soap. What you use to clean your hands. Soap. Soup. Rice. Pancakes. Donut. Dough. Donut. Lamb kebab. Lamb. B is silent. Lamb. Lamb kebab. Lamb is the meat that comes from sheep. Beef is the meat that comes from cow. Omelet. Don't say o. Oh. No, it's a. Uh. Omelet. Now, which of these do you have? Do you have means do you eat? Four. Notice that we use four. For breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. When you answer, you say, I have pancakes and omelets for breakfast. I have soup, rice, and lamb kebab for lunch and dinner. I have soup. For dinner, I have soup for dinner. Two. Listen. Listen to three short dialogues and answer the questions. Choose A or B. What does the man order? What food does the man ask for? Chicken with rice or a chicken omelet? What do both boys? The two boys think is boring, not interesting. Sandwiches or soup. What does the girl hate? What does she not love? Donuts or pancakes. Now listen. One. Good evening. Can I take your order? Yes. Have you got chicken? Yes, we've got chicken with rice and chicken with pasta. No, I don't think so. I'd like an omelet, please. There's a chicken omelet on the menu. Really? Okay, that sounds great. Good. Now, what about something to drink? Two. What's that? It's my lunch. Do you want some? No, thanks. I've got chicken. You don't usually have soup for lunch. I know, but I'm bored of sandwiches. Yeah, eating sandwiches every day is boring. Have you got anything to go with that soup? Yes, a salad. That's good. Three. What's that smell, Mum? Oh, sorry, dear. It's pancakes for your brother. But you know I hate them. I know, dear. Here, I've got some nice doughnuts for you. Have your breakfast. Now, to check your answers, read the listening transcript. Good evening. Can I take your order? Yes. Have you got chicken? Yes, we've got chicken with rice and chicken with pasta. No, I don't think so. I'd like an omelette, please. There's a chicken omelette on the menu. Really? Okay, that sounds great. Good. Now, what about something to drink? The menu is what he is holding in his hands. The list of food that you can choose from. Sounds great. I like it. I would like to have that. So he orders a chicken omelet. What's that? It's my lunch. Do you want some? No, thanks. I've got chicken. You don't usually have soup for lunch. I know, but I'm bored of sandwiches. Yeah, eating sandwiches every day is boring. 
Have you got anything to go with that soup? Yes, a salad. That's good. Bored and boring. What is the difference? Bored is a feeling that you have, that you are tired of something. Boring is the reason why you feel that way. So sandwiches are boring. That's why I feel bored. Anything to go with that? To go means to eat. Is there something else you eat with that? The two boys think that sandwiches are boring. What's that smell, Mum? Oh, sorry, dear. It's pancakes for your brother. But you know I hate them. I know, dear. Here, I've got some nice doughnuts for you. Have your breakfast. I hate them. I hate pancakes. Three. Speak and write. The picture you see at the background is taken from a city called Burano in Italy. Burano. And Alfredo is from that city, and he will tell us about his eating habits. Read and take the correct pictures for Alfredo's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. What kind of food does he eat for breakfast? He doesn't eat all these things. He eats only two of them. The same thing with lunch and dinner. What does he eat? Hello, my name is Alfredo and I am from Burano, Italy. Burano is the city, Italy is the country. For breakfast, I usually have. I normally eat biscuits with milk, biscuits with milk, or hot chocolate. I love biscuits. Now, he didn't say anything about chocolate bars. He doesn't eat this for breakfast. For lunch, my mom makes some pasta and a fish or meat dish. What is a dish? A dish is a flat container that is used to serve food. This is a dish. Dish. Of course. We always have a salad or a cooked vegetables. Salad, cooked vegetables. Now, cooked here is not in the past. This is the past participle. The vegetables are cooked. On Thursdays, I often, often is like usually. Usually is a stronger word. Go to the city center with my friends and have a slice of pizza with cheese, tomatoes, and mushrooms. He didn't say anything about soup. No soup. For dinner, I often have meatballs or pasta with tomato sauce. Now, we have two dishes of pasta, but this is the one with tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. At the weekend, I sometimes have an omelette with vegetables and cheese or meat. No white pasta or fried eggs. Now complete the table about your eating habits, the things that you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then talk in pairs. For breakfast, I have an omelette hot chocolate and a tuna sandwich. For lunch, I have chicken or meat, rice or pasta with tomato sauce and salad. For dinner, I have some soup, a salad and some fruit. Now talk. Ask your friend, what do you usually have for breakfast? I usually have this. What do you usually have for lunch? My mom always makes some rice or pasta and a meat or chicken dish. What do you usually have for dinner? I don't eat a lot at night. I only have some soup, some salad, and some fruit, like an apple or an orange. 
Now read and replace the words in bold in the sentences with subject or object pronouns. What's the meaning of that? Look. Ali and Dalal. Ali plays with Dalal, his sister. Ali is the subject. And Dalal is the object. Plays is the verb. Now the next time we speak, we don't want to say Ali, 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 Dalal, Dalal, Dalal. We want to replace those with subject and object pronouns. What do we use to replace Ali? We use he. He loves her. Subject, we use one of these words. Object, we use her. Not she, no. Object, object object her Dalal plays with Ali Dalal loves Ali now what will we choose to replace Dalal and Ali she subject she loves him now can you replace the words in bold with subject and object pronouns do that now I'll help you. Now these are subjects in blue and in pink, the object. My dad doesn't usually eat breakfast. My dad, he hasn't got time for breakfast for it. He hasn't got time for it. We always have vegetables with our meals, but I don't like vegetables. I don't like them. Vegetables are horrible very bad they are horrible john doesn't eat chocolate it isn't good for john it isn't good for him my sister and i usually have breakfast together my sister and i we have cereal and orange juice i always have pizza on friday nights it is my favorite. I love pizza. Now write about your eating habits. What you usually eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But first, go to the workbook on page 126 and complete the plan. And remember that you shouldn't repeat the same words. Don't use it over and over again. Use different words. Now, here is the plan. We will use the information in activity B to complete the plan. Now, we will also use Alfredo's writing to help us with ours. Here is my writing. Hi, I'm Mu'tasim. And I'm from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. For breakfast, I usually have an omelet, a cup of hot chocolate, and sometimes I have a tuna sandwich. That's very tasty. For lunch, my mom always makes some rice or pasta and a meat or chicken dish. Of course, we still have a salad with lunch. At the weekend, I eat out with my friends. We go to a fast food restaurant. For dinner, I don't like to eat a lot. I only have some soup, some salad, and some fruit, like an apple or an orange. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.